Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rachakurash, which is to say the name of the Heavenly Father in the name of His Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit in the ancient Hebrew tongue. I also want to give double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone who rule well, the top Bible teachers on the planet Earth today. And also want to send out a hearty shalom to all the sincere brothers throughout the four corners of the earth that push the unadulterated truth of the Bible and risk their lives doing so and never to waking up the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel. This is your brother Karab from the Great Millstone, Miami, coming back at you with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And Lord willing, this is edifying. Okay, now what I want to go into in this lesson or the title of this lesson is going to be fame. Okay, fame. And, um, you know, obviously this is not something that we're driven by. Okay, although we are. Okay, because it's a part of the process. But that's not at the foresight or, or, the, or the frontlets, Salakia, of our mind. You know, first and foremost, we're focused on being delivered from the wrath of the Lamb. Okay. And a destruction that's coming on this place and hoping that we're found worthy, you know, found uh, deemed fruit meat for repentance. Okay. But, um, and obviously we understand the plight that has to be taken for those of us that have been called to be, uh, prophets. Okay. Um, uh, we have to labor to enter into rest. Okay. And that's another reason, you know, we're, we're weary. Okay. The scriptures say that they have worn out the saints. Okay. We's tired, you know. But uh, in order for us to get that rest, we have to labor, okay? And I'm speaking specifically for those of us who have been called into this ministry and uh, were called to fill in the gaps, okay, and to prophesy the word, you know? And now for, you know, those of us uh, or those of you that, you know, have not been called to be prophets or women that are listening, okay, hey, give obedience, you know? The, the Heavenly Father requires obedience o over sacrifice, okay? And... Um, you know, do what you can to help the ministry in your respective city, you know. Show the Heavenly Father that you're repentful, you know. And we're going to have to do those things in order in order for us to enter into uh, uh, rest. You got to labor. You got to work for it. You know what I'm saying? You got to go through it to get to it, you know. But, um, you know, by us doing those things, by us going out on the highways and hedges when it's not fashionable, okay, when uh, people are not, you know, when you look, when you're fretted upon or you look down upon for doing this, okay, eventually um, we're going to receive fame, okay? In the same place where we will put the chain, we're going to receive fame, okay? And not only will we receive uh, uh, fame here in Babylon, okay, before the destruction, but also in the, in the kingdom that which is to come, okay? And that will be for eternity. Those of us that are a part of the election, okay? And more specifically, the 144,000 of that governing body, okay, of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, okay. And like I say, that's 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 not something that, uh, you know, I, I want to be famous, you know. No, nah, that's not something that we profess, okay. But the Heavenly Father said He would do that, okay. And that's uh, you know, it's just another uh, 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 perk, uh, for lack of better words, uh, to keep us uh, driven and. and pressing forward towards that mark okay so let's get into these precepts this is uh zephaniah chapter 3 uh we'll start at 18 it says i will gather them that are sorrowful for the solemn assembly okay who are of who are of thee to whom the reproach of it was a burden okay and, and exactly this is the reproach that we deal with is a burden man okay especially coming into this to, to the ministry or coming into the to the know or the understanding of the scriptures okay as it says uh with much wisdom cometh much sorrow or much grief okay why because you know the real okay you know what it really is you know and for the most part we're forced to live a lie now we are not believing a lie okay but we're forced to live it okay under the unrighteous decrees and the stipulations that have been put in place by the damn devil the bible speaks of esau edom the self-proclaimed white man right so that reproach becomes a burden right verse 19 behold at that time i will undo all that afflict thee and i will save her that halteth and gather her that was driven out and who's the her okay uh the nation of israel okay he's likening her to a calmly delicate woman okay right it says 
and I will give them praise and fame, right, in every land where they have been put to shame, okay? And this is what the Heavenly Father is saying, okay? This is not something, you know what? Eventually, I got to be famous, man. No, that's, that's just a part of it, okay? Just a part of what you're doing, standing stiffly and boldly, okay? For the names of Yahweh, Ba, Shimei, Okay? Uh, 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 stand, Lord willing, you know, the Heavenly Father puts the Spirit on, on us to stand firm in the face of adversity and affliction, to endure all the tribulations that come against us, to endure until the end, you know? There's a reward for doing all of those things, okay? And ultimately, it's salvation. But there's a reputation that comes behind it, okay? Now, let's look at, uh, let's look into this word, fame. Bear with me. Uh, okay. It's Shum. <laughs> Shum, right? And we all know what Shum means. Name, name, reputation, fame, glory, right? It says, <clears throat> it says the name as designation of the Most High. Indeed, it says a memorial, monument, okay? And what does that uh, bring to mind? Uh, Zion or to Zion in the Hebrew, which simply means memorial or monument. Okay, so that's in, in, in essence, that's what fame is. Okay, a reputation. Okay, a, 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 a memorial. Okay, your names will be in memory. The scriptures speak about those whose names have been written in the book. Okay, in, in, in detriment to those whose names have not been written in the book, uh, alluding to Revelation 13, chapter, Revelation 20, chapter. Okay, that's a glorious thing. Okay, but like I said, our mindsets are totally set upon being delivered. Okay, not feeling the wrath or the boom of Yahweh by Shimei Okay, and whether you know it or not, you do not want to feel the boom. Okay, or the wrath of the Lamb. Okay, let's get another one. This is a. Uh book of Ezekiel or Ezekiel chapter 33 and this now we're going to go into you know the process of the things that uh, the men whose names are written in the book the things that they will be doing okay this also gives us confidence and hey it ain't nothing new under the sun okay uh, uh, this is the heritage a heritage of the prophets of Israel, of, of Yashallah or Israel, okay? This is Ezekiel. Uh, and we start at 30, Ezekiel chapter 33, verse 30. It says, also thou son of man, the children of thy people still are talking against thee by the walls and in the doors of the houses and speak one to another, everyone to his brother saying, come, I pray you and hear what is the word that cometh forth from Yahweh by Shemiah Shai. Verse 31, and see, it shows you how far uh, our people have fallen, okay, from grace, you know, and who we are, okay, uh, due, directly due to our sins and our disobedience, okay, because there was a point where people would come out and, you know, wanted to hearken unto the prophets, okay, now people cross the street when they see us on the sidewalk, you know, not understanding that we are that beacon of light, okay, we are the hand, the extension of the hand of Yahweh Bashim Shah. Reaching out to you people and you're slap, slapping our hand away. And, and, and not only slapping it away, being completely uh, uh, unaware of it, okay? Not even, not even considering, like the scriptures say, my people do not consider. Verse 31, and they come unto uh, thee as the people cometh, and they sit before thee as my people, and they hear thy words, but they will not do them, right? The scriptures say be a, a doer of the word, not a hearer only. Okay, what sense does it make to hear it when this 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 is the lifeline? Okay, this is that 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 water, you know, that bread that Yahweh Shai was speaking about. I, who the word ignorantly calls Jesus. This is what he was talking about. This is the word, right? It says, um, and they hear thy words, but they will not do them, for with their mouth they show much love. But their heart goeth after their covetousness, okay? 
And like I said, man, our people are not even, they don't give a shit, you know. And I'll speak, you know, uh, specifically about down here in Miami, man. <laughs> people got uh, a trillion other things to do than to come uh, uh, to the highways and hedges and listen to the prophet speak, okay? But this is, you know, how our people work, okay? They hear the word, you know, like in the churches, hallelujah, yeah. And then after they leave out of those doors, they go after their covetousness, like the scriptures say. Okay, verse 32. And lo, thou art unto them as a very lovely song of one that hath a pleasant voice and can play well on an instrument. For they hear thy words, but they do them not. Okay, verse 33. It says, and when this cometh to pass. Okay, and what cometh to pass? The prophecies. Okay, because, hey, to have the testimony of Yahweh shot, you got to have the spirit of prophecy. Okay, because ultimately... Uh, uh, the, pro, uh, uh, the, the sermon has to be based around his return Okay And mainly because of the sacrifice that he made And it's written in scripture It has to come to pass Right So if you don't have that spirit of prophecy Then you don't have the testimony of our Lord Yahweh Shai Who the world ignorantly calls Jesus And when this cometh to pass Lo, it will come You see they put it in parentheses Then shall they know that a prophet have been among them Okay And that's that process of fame Okay, being made famous. Okay, because this is our job. We're getting the blood off our hands. Woe is me if I preach not the gospel. That's what the Apostle Paul said, right? Okay, so we're in that same spirit. It ain't really because we get it. We don't wake people up. The, the word wakes people up. Okay, and and, and, and more uh, uh, importantly, there's an election. The scriptures say, my sheep, the Lord said, my sheep hear my voice. Right? So we don't know who the sheep are. <clears throat> so our job is to just go out and preach, even if we prophesy to the wind. The, the, the spirit goeth where it listeth, okay? We're putting it on the internet, and those that the Heavenly Father wants to awaken, they will awake. That's how this works, okay? So it's not predicated off, of, off us going out fishing, you know, and catching boots or not catching anything at all, okay? That's, that doesn't quantify the success, the success of what we do, okay? What quantifies the success of what we do is being obedient and doing what the what the heavenly father told us to do okay and then he'll take care of the rest okay like you read in isaiah i, I believe that's uh 45 or 50 i believe it's 45 if i'm not mistaken where it speaks about their word thy word have gathered them right okay this is uh Book of Amos, chapter 8, verse 1. Uh, Salaki. Uh, let me see. Bear with me. Yep, yeah, Amos 8 and 11. It says, Behold, the days come, say if Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water. Okay, which that famine is coming as well. Okay, and we can see all the inner makings of it. Okay, with this damn devil uh, kill gates. Okay, buying up all the farmland, and we're seeing hundreds of thousands of cows pop up dead here, uh, fish. Uh, you know, floating up dead in, in, in rivers in the ocean, okay, uh, uh, the, 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 uh, the promotion of uh, fake chicken, you know what I'm saying, and genetically modified this, genetically modified that, okay, which is basically being manufactured, a famine that's going to be, a, a, a food and bread that's going to be manufactured, okay, but here in the scripture, okay, is, is basically speaking of before that famine of bread uh, uh, and water, right? So let's read it again. Uh, Amos 8 and 11. Behold, the days come, saith Yahweh by Shemiah Shai, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of Yahweh by Shemiah Shai. Okay? And another scripture that pops in my mind is uh, man shall not live off of bread alone. But by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of the Most High. Okay, why? Because this is going to be the wisdom 
I mean, uh, 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 it's going to be the stability of thy times, wisdom and knowledge, right? Okay? And if you don't have this understanding, then when the famine of bread and water, okay, uh, comes, then you're fucked, okay? Because the scriptures speak about uh, Isaiah 65, where uh, my servant shall eat, you shall hunger, okay? You also read that in uh, Luke, the sixth chapter, okay, about the dichotomy of this thing, man. Uh, those who were obedient and, and hearkening unto the word, they're going to be fine, okay? Those of you who have it, those everyday dainties, those, those, those liberties, okay, those blessings from Yahweh Bashim Shah that you take for granted, that you don't give thanks for, they're going to be taken away from you. And the Lord is going to watch you suffer. And the scriptures say he's going to laugh at your calamity. When you're starving, the Heavenly Father is going to laugh, okay? And that's going to be portrayed through his prophets. The same men that went out and prophesied that you wouldn't hearken to, that you crossed the street on, okay? Those same men who were telling you what was coming and you hearken not, the Lord is going to use them to laugh. It says, woe, woe to you that laugh not, shall you, for you shall cry later. Right? But guess what? We're sorrowing now, and you're laughing at us. Soon there's going to be a role reversal, right? Say if the Holy Bible. Verse 12. Uh, uh, verse 12. And they shall wander from sea to sea, and from the north even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of Yahweh by Shemiah Shai, and shall not find it. Why? Because the scriptures tell us, seek ye Yahweh by Shemiah Shai, while he may be found. There's a cutoff point. You niggas can't just nigger forever. You can't be niggly bears forever. There's a point where you got to man up, okay, and say, you know what? I need to come to my power. And guess what? A lot of you going to do that when it's too late. You see? Just like we read here. They're going to run to and fro. Hey, looking for those guys who you mocked and said they had on dresses standing on the corner. And you're not going to be able to find them. Okay? But what does that show? A process of being made famous. Oh, those guys. Because, hey, you should be wondering uh, where you going to get your next meal from. Or where you should get some water from. Okay? But no, they're going to be looking for the prophets. Okay? Like it also says in, uh, 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 what's that, Daniel the 12th chapter. Okay? Wisdom shall be increased. Right? Um... Let's get another one. Okay, this is, and this is another part of it, you know. Now, you rarely hear brothers, you know, just do lessons on this or, or you know, talk about We may talk about it, you know, <laughs> behind the scenes or whatever, you know. But like I said, our main focus is being delivered, and that's the mindset you should have. Worry about you, you okay? Obviously, we're in a brotherhood, and um, we're supposed to, you know, uh, uh, help each other with our with, with, with one another's burdens, you know, and, and just be brotherly, you know. But that starts with what you making sure you're taking care of what you're supposed to do, okay? Because we all got to appear before the judgment seat of the Most High. We all do, one by one. I can't go with my brother over here to vouch for me. No, nah, I got to go by myself, right? And that's gonna be portrayed in the trials and tribulations that are coming, right? So this is uh, Isaiah chapter four, verse one. And when you read Isaiah the third chapter. OK, it goes into the, you know, basically Eve paying for all her wickedness. OK, and when I say Eve, meaning uh, the daughters of Zion. OK, you Negro, Latino and Native American women. OK, and they that be of the speckled bird that are scattered abroad, whose lineage goes back to Israel. There's a judgment to pay for your haughtiness. OK, for the things that you've done and and how have you uh, uh, fallen into the trap of Esau, Edom, uh, trying to usurp authority over the man, which the scriptures tell you not to do. Where there's a judgment that's coming for doing that, right? Right? So this is Isaiah chapter 4, verse 1. It says, and in that day, okay, speaking of the times of trouble, okay, even over here, you know, and that's what I mentioned earlier, you know, that fame that uh, the Heavenly Father promised us is going to be over here and also in the kingdom forever, Right? Isaiah 4 and 1. And in that day, seven women. Okay. And when it says seven women, that doesn't mean one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. It could be. But the number seven means a complete number. Okay. It could be three. Or it could be one. You know. Or it could be a thousand. Or five thousand. <laughs> or three hundred. You know. It just means the complete amount uh, 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 of women that ultimately the Heavenly Father wants to be delivered. And that's what it boils down to, okay? It's not a thing of uh, being a player. No, no, no. The Heavenly Father has an elect lady, 
Okay, so there's certain women that the Heavenly Father wants to get out of here. And he's going to allot those women to uh, certain men. And there are also claims, you know, <laughs> from the elder apostles on down. We, we claim women, you know, and hey, I don't want to write this out, Lord willing. You know, uh, brothers will receive some of those women. Okay. Uh, what's the glory of a man? A woman, right? So it says, uh, Isaiah 4 and 1, And in that day seven women shall take hold of one man, saying, We will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel. Only let us be called by thy name to take away our reproach. Okay, and we read about that approach being a reproach taken away, okay, by the Heavenly Father in uh, Zephaniah, the third chapter, right? So obviously when the times of trouble hit, when women, women are being ravaged, like the scripture said, okay, when men are being put to death, you know, and that's, that's times of hopelessness, especially for women, when your husband is crying like a bitch, okay? Or when Isaiah, Salakia, Jeremiah 30 and 7 takes place, when men holding their lawns like they're tra uh, tra uh, travailing in birth, having birth pain like they're women, okay? That's the vision that Jeremiah saw, okay? And women are going to absolutely lose hope. There ain't going to be no fucking independent women, period, okay? They're all going to be looking for a man, and if he ain't a man of God, okay, you and him are going to be put to death, you see? But like I mentioned, there are the election of women, okay, that they're going to see something different about the men of Yahweh Shah. Okay, and they're going to say what? We will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel. Only let us be called by thy name to take away our reproach. Okay, and going back to that word, that name, right? That fame. We want some of that fame, you see? And guess what? Our women do that to men now that are famous, okay, or have money, right? But soon that whole lie or that farce is going to be thrown in the garbage, okay? And our women going to what? They're going to seek after the men that have true fame, okay? And the real fame on the name or reputation is though, are those who are obedient to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, plain and simple, you see? So there's going to be a role reversal. They're going to go from chasing niggas who got the bag, okay? Uh, 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 that, that shame them and talk shit about them and then they're going to turn and come out the men that are going to be able to survive the times that we're dealing that we're facing right uh let's see matter of fact I had it pulled up yeah so let's go here we'll close out with this one Right, this is Wisdom of Solomon, uh, I mean, Salakia, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 5, verse 1, okay? It says, Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted him, okay? So I'm just showing you different levels of fame, okay? And it starts with what? Standing bold, and hey, first it starts with keeping the patience of the word of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah, Right? And then what happens? The Heavenly Father pours His Spirit out upon you, okay? And, you, hey, and we already know this. We are not of ourselves, okay? The Scriptures talk about us being bought with a price. We didn't call ourselves, in, call ourselves into this ministry, okay? We were called into it, you know? So there's a level of, 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 of thanks and, and, and gratitude that we're uh, supposed to show, okay? And by doing that, the Heavenly Father is going to reciprocate us. He shall far exceed. All we did was want to know why this shit was so wicked, and, uh, you know, seek the Heavenly Father, which ultimately he compelled us to do, right? So this is all a process, right? So Sirach, I mean, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 5, verse 1, it says, Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted him. And who's afflicting us? Esau, Edom, okay? Now, our people uh, have a hand in that, okay? But ultimately, it's predicated off of the vibration that Esau, Edom is pushing, Right? So it says, then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted him and made no account of his labor. Right. And that goes both ways. Esau doesn't make account. He's like, look at these simple, stupid niggas, man. These Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. We're going to fucking crush them, man. They made no account because if they made account, okay, 
they wouldn't have done what they'd done, you know? And then the same thing with our people. No account. Like, look at these bozos on the corner with dressing. Nobody's sitting up there watching them. Nobody's listening, okay? That ain't a church house. Made no account of our labors, okay? Right? It says, uh, verse 2, when they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear. And what? See what? Okay, ultimately the salvation. Ultimately the heavenly father coming back, uh, sending his son back, okay, with the high holy host, you know, uh, uh, which are what the world ignorantly calls UFOs. Nah, okay, those are the chariots of the most high, the clouds of the heavenly father. When you read that in the scriptures, that's code name for what they are, okay? And we've seen them. The world has seen them to the point where Esau Edom has had to, uh, you know, not keep a, keep a cloak about it. He had to come out because so many people are seeing him. You know, it says when they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear and shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation so far beyond all that they look for. Right. OK, because you ask a, ask a wacky, tacky ass Christian, what is salvation? Oh, to give your life to Christ. Yes, Lord. And wave your hand and let your arm fat shake. You know, and stomp up and down and catch the Holy Ghost. That's being saved. Yes, Lord. All you got to do is look at the definition of the word salvation. It means to be delivered from a, a troubling time. You haven't been saved from a troubling time because the troubling time hasn't happened yet. Okay? <laughs> Boy. Right? It says, um, and it's beyond all that they look for. Right? Verse 2. It says, and they repenting. And they repenting and groaning for anguish of spirit shall say within themselves, this was he whom we had sometimes in derision. Yeah, made mockery of, laughed at him. Yeah, they're crazy. Yeah, just, hey, hey, you know, that's what he believed in. Let him long, you know. Or, or Esau eat him. Hey, 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 look at these idiots. <laughs> okay. Hey, the most high created rhetoric okay and, and laughter and joking okay in derision okay you're gonna be had in derision as the scriptures say right it says um this was he whom we had sometimes in derision and a proverb of reproach verse four we fools okay and who are the fools hey psalms 14 and 1 the fool have said in his heart there is no god okay and who says that yeah, you got some jakes that say that, but something happened to them. They, they probably got touched and they felt like the Heavenly Father didn't fight for them and, you know, and, and, and for whatever reason, denounced the Heavenly Father, you know. But that's not naturally the makeup of an uh, Israelite, okay? You Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. But more specifically, that's the makeup of Esau Edom. He's completely adverse to everything the Heavenly Father is about, right? Okay? So it says... We fools accounted his life madness and his end to be without honor. Right? And that's how Esau Edom feels. Like we're gonna we're gonna win. Okay, your 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 God, the God of Israel, may come back. He may send his son back. But guess what? We got a space force. We're ready for him. Okay, and you can look it up. There is a space force, right? It says, um, Verse four, we account, we fools accounted his life madness and his end to be without honor. How is he numbered among the children of the most high and and his lot is among the saints? You see, verse eight, therefore, have we erred from the way of truth and the light of righteousness have not shown unto us. And the son of righteousness rose not upon us. Okay, and that's speaking about Israelites. Okay, so it's twofold. Okay, you damn Edomites. Okay, you heathens. And then also our people. Okay, which all culminates what? Into that developing of giving the elect uh, uh, of the nation of Israel that fame. Okay, that reputation, that name. Okay, that being a part of that memorial. OK, so uh, I believe I hit the point and Lord willing, this was edifying with that. I say, uh, Kwame Yashirala and the Baba Ball, Shalom.